Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Ganymede. This just came in the mail today, so this is our first time playing it. This game supports, let's see here, two to four players. It's for ages 14 and up, and the average play time is 20 to 40 minutes. So in this game, we are going to be trying to um, move colonists from Earth to Ganymede. On our turn, we're going to do one of three things. We're going to take one of these colonist tiles over here. There's some face-up colonist tiles, and we're going to put them up here above our board. There's room for three spaces. If you happen to match the same color of one that you already have, uh, you'll notice like some of these are red and yellow, but if you happen to match the appropriate color, uh, so if I already have red as one of these three and I add another red, then I can take that action twice or even three times. If I had two red here, I would take it three times. So there's a color uh, similar bonuses if you manage to take the same color tile over and over again. That's the first thing you can do. And then you just simply take the action. Typically it's to spawn new colonists on the Mars, or on the Earth rather. Uh, the second thing you can do on your turn is to take one of these Earth cards or one of these Mars cards. And the only way you can take them if you have the required colored colonists on those planets respectively. So, for example, this is an Earth card, and in order for me to actually take this and add it to my tableau, I would need a purple and a red meeple on Earth already in order to claim this card, put it under my board like so, under the purple column, and then I would be able to move those colonists to Mars. Likewise, there's a Mars row here, and the only way I can take one of those is if I match the meeples. I have to have those colored meeples on the top here. This says red, yellow, and purple. I would need red, yellow, and purple, or combination thereof, on Mars. Then I can take that and move them to one of these two locations. So it's going to go from Earth to Mars, and then Mars to one of these two Ganymede ships. Uh, we start the game with four cards for these ship cards. The cards are shuffled up there, and each player is dealt four. Then you're going to choose two of them. We'll go ahead and just put them out right now, it doesn't matter. And these are end games. You can go ahead and put yours out oh. too. But these are, uh, we're going to move our colonists onto these ships and then try and launch them. And at the end of the game, we score victory points based on what's listed on the bottom of these cards. The game ends when four of these ships have launched. Then everyone gets an equal number of turns and the game ends. Uh, to launch these ships, uh, you need three of the same color meeple on this one and four of the different colored meeples on this one. Then at the end of your turn, you can launch those ships and score points for endgame. So again, uh, back to what you can do on your turn. Uh, one action is take one of those. Another action is take one of these. And the third action is discard one or more of your settler tiles to then take some basic actions. And basic actions include picking a colored meeple and adding it to Earth, or moving a single meeple from Earth to Mars or Mars to Ganymede, um, also replacing a meeple with another colored meeple, uh, moving up the reputation track here, uh, that will score victory points for games end. And every time you land on a cog wheel, you can take another basic action, which is nice. There's also a draw new ship card action, so you can take a new ship card from the top row, so that as you launch ships, you can um, you can either whenever you launch a ship, you take a new one, uh, add it to your hand, and then pick one from your hand to replace it. Um, but if you only have the one, then, you know, your options are limited. So you may want to draw more ship cards to give yourself more, uh, you know, options in the future. But that's the gist of it. We've never played it. This is our first time, so we may get a roll wrong or two as we go. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Uh, would you like to go first? I went first last game, I think. I don't remember. So... It's up to you. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So what I'm going to do is I am... I'm going to take the... I'm going to take the red one, mm -hmm. and I get to take a red meeple, put it on Earth, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to take a ship card. Um, let's go with, um, let's go with this one here, and I'll mm -hmm. add that to my hand, and then a new one comes out. Okay. And then it is your turn. Doesn't, do these get filled? Yeah, those get refilled, oh. so you can take any one that we want. Okay. There are four starter ones, and those are the ones that are out. It's one of each meeple color plus the ship, but these new ones coming out now are non-starter tiles. Interesting. Okay, I see. Um, there are no starter cards, just FYI. It's just these were starter tiles. I see. 
I will take the blue one. Okay. And then it comes out. Wow. Uh, I get a blue one over here. Blue. On the earth. Okay, and you get to take a ship card. Okay. I will take the top left. This one? Yes. So this gives you victory points equal to your current yeah. reputation here. I see. So it, this would benefit you. Like, you would want to keep this somewhere off oh, to the okay. side. Until you're ready to try and launch it. Oh, I see. You don't actually get to score that at the end of the game until you've launched that ship. I see. Okay. So technically, that's part of your hand. Okay. So you can, like, put it off to the put side, it. face okay. down, until you're ready to use it. Okay, I see. I see. That, re that will replace one of these eventually. Okay, I see. Um, so in my turn, I'm going to go ahead and use the settler action. I'm going to take mm -hmm. this red one here. Mm -hmm. And that matches this red one, this color. So I get to do this twice. This says I can take either a red or a yellow. Now, because there's multiple actions, I can do either or. So I can take two red or two yellow or one of each. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, one of each color, so red and a yellow. Uh, the supply is limited based on the number of players, just FYI. Okay. And it is your turn. A uh, new one comes out like so. I'll do this one. And can I do the same thing? Uh, you, but yeah, these colors don't match. This is blue oh, and red. Oh, I thought it was the meeple. No, not the meeple. Match. The little symbol oh, in the upper left. I see, I see. There are no blues in this, so you would not oh, be able to do that. Oh, I see. But you can either take a red or a blue. The white is a white. It's not a wild, right? The white is not a wild, correct. Okay, it's just a white. As far as I know. Okay, so I'll just take a blue then. Okay. So you're going to take a blue meeple. Okay. Uh, Mar or Earth can Actually, hold six meeples, and Mars can hold five, just FYI. What? Yeah, no, no, no. You want red or blue? Um, I'm still trying to wrap my head around how these ones work. On your turn, you can take a card from here, so as long as you've got the appropriate oh, meeples so on the top. Oh, so can I do red instead? Yeah, sorry. if you want red. Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry, go mm -hmm. ahead. It's our first time playing, folks, yeah. just FYI. Okay. So, my turn, <laughs> I am going to, I need uh, purple, preferably. So, I'm going to take this one here. Mm -hmm. It's purple, so they, they don't match this. I get a purple meeple here, and a star, I get a ship that I get to draw. So, I will take this one, add it to my hand, and a new one comes out. Interesting. And it is your turn. Okay. Um... I will, uh, can I do this one? Uh, yes, you can, all you need is a blue meeple. So you can take this card and add it to your blue okay. column. And then you can move your blue meeple over to uh, Mars. I see, and then a new one comes out? A new one comes out, correct. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and that was your turn. Yep. All right, um, let's see. This one is red and discard a... Top one. Yeah. I didn't do that, just so I can get an action down here. Some of these cards on the bottom, whenever you move stuff, you can mm -hmm. get, like this, your card does not have that, mm -hmm. but this one is slightly harder to do. Mm -hmm. um, what I will do is I'm going to take this one here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to move a red one up here, and I have to discard one of my settler tiles. I'm going to go ahead and just remove this one, and that just gets thrown off into the nether somewhere. <laughs> And a new card comes out. Sorry. And now it's my turn? It is your turn. I'll do this one. Okay. And do a purple on Earth. Okay. And it's your turn. And a new one comes out. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I will take... Now, does does yours move up? What do you or mean up? Like, do these two... Like, it doesn't matter. The, the positioning does not matter. Oh, I see. Okay. Wow. So you can actually take that and take that action twice? Yeah, I get to take this one, because I've got a red one here, and nice. this is red, so... This says, take a red meeple or move. Mm -hmm. So I can do that twice. Um, so, do I want more red meeples, or do I want to start moving more? Um, I'm going to do a red meeple on Earth, mm -hmm. and I will do... <sighs> A limited supply, unfortunately. Um, I will move one, so I'm going to move a second. Yep. Yeah, so I, I mm -hmm. put a red one down, and then I moved one over to Mars with that. I see. And it is your turn. Okay, so I'll take this one. All right. And move these two up here. Yep. So red and purple. Yep. yep. And you got a free reputation bonus, so this goes up your track by one. Okay. Cool. And a new one comes out. 
And hmm. what happens when you're full on these? You can't. You just can't. Whenever you take them? a new one, you have to discard an existing one. What if, do if these, you take one, yeah. you have to discard an existing one. Well, what do the existing ones do? Are these like one-offs? Or Those are one-offs. They don't do anything else for you except give you a color bonus should you find something of the same color. I see. Um, I'm going to... This is red and purple. So I'm going to take... I'm going to take this, mm -hmm. and I get to move a red and purple over to Mars. And this bonus says I can convert any color into blue meeple, or I can uh, turn a blue meeple into any color. Mm -hmm. So the question is, do I want to convert one of these into blue, or this one into blue? Um, I don't know. Uh, at this point, I've got three there, so it kind of seems silly. To... Um, you know what? I will convert one red into blue. Mm. Something like that. Okay. And it is your turn. Okay. I'll grab this one. All right. So you're going to move something from Mars. Okay. okay. So blue, red, and purple. Okay. Um, which you have all three. And they... So I cannot go here because I you, don't have the you can. No, no. For this, you need one of each color. So... Oh, I don't have a yellow, though. That's okay. You can stack them here until you get a yellow there. Once you get your yellow there, it'll launch. Oh, I see. Can I? What but happens yes, you if can you move it to here. You can't because oh, you need three the of the same, same color. color. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'll do this. Mm -hmm. And that gives me a track. Yep. So now you're up to your cog wheel, and that gives you a free action down here. Okay. And what are the free actions again? You get to set, spawn a settler on Earth of any color, okay. move something, uh, re refresh a meeple into any other color, uh, move up the reputation track, or draw a new ship. Ooh. Um. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. I'm tempted to get. You know what? I'll just move up the reputation track. Okay. That's fine. Makes sense. <laughs> sure. All right. Um, I am going to. Take this one mm -hmm. and just get rid of one of my reds. And I get to spawn either a blue one or a red one, so I'm going to spawn a blue one. Okay. And it is oh. your turn. Mm -hmm. Um, I will. Hmm. Now, here's the thing, right? I could take this purple one, right? And then. Like, replace it? Yes. And then take that action twice because... Yes. yes, But here's the thing, though. What happens if I just do this action three times? Well, then... And I discard all three and just put, like, three yellows. You can do that if you want. I feel like that would benefit me more. Okay. Well, then do it. Nothing wrong with... You know, I, I don't know the strategy behind this, so if you think it would be beneficial to you, then go for it. I have no flipping clue. <laughs> Um, what she's referring to again is the third action which is remove one or more of these to take that many basic actions yeah alright fine so I'll remove all three I'm just curious okay so all three and I'll do a yellow okay. two, two can I do two yellows yeah. actually I'll do one yellow okay sorry move up the reputation track twice okay and then you get a free basic action. Free basic action. Um, I'll take another yellow. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. Sure. Um, so weird. I am going to take this one. For It's yellow and blue. Actually, I can't because Mars can only hold five. So that's bad. Mm. Uh, in that case... I well, that would be Earth anyways, uh, right? Yeah, well, yeah, well, I would be moving Earth to here, and Mars can only hold oh, five, I see, I see. so I can't, I can only move one over here, so I need to, like, get more people off. Mars. You'd yeah. have to use the Mars. Right? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm thinking about how I want to do that. Mm. That is white, meaning any color, mm. and then blue, and then remove one of these, so I could do that. Um, 
purple is on, okay. Let's go with, I could do that actually. Um, so I could take this one. Yeah, I'll take this one, add it to blue. Mm -hmm. So that means I have to uh, place, uh, uh, move a blue up here and then remove one of these. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna remove the red one. Okay. And I get the bonus down here, which is add a new color here. I'm gonna go ahead and add, um, I think I'm gonna add, I think I'll add blue again. Okay. And then a new one comes out. Okay. Um, now, one thing we didn't talk about yet, at least to them, mm -hmm. launch bonuses. If you reach the end of this track, you get a free launch regardless of whether or not your ships are complete and has a full complement of colonists in them. Mm -hmm. um, also, getting one of each color down here on this row here also gives you a free launch. Mm -hmm. Meaning, again, you can launch one of your ships immediately without having the required colonists on them. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will take... I'll take this one. Okay. And I will take... It's either going to be a yellow or a red. I will take the yellow. Yellow. Okay. <sighs> and a new one comes oh, out. Sorry. No, you're fine. It's your turn. Yeah, I'm going to take this one to white. And I move a white, a blue, and get rid of one of these. So I'm going to get rid of the blue one. And I get to move from Mars to Ganymede, mm -hmm. a, a blue one and a color of my choice. So I'm going to go one, actually let's do one, two. And or no, where did I, wait, oh no, I'm sorry, I don't get to move. What am I talking about? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm jumping. Oh yeah, yeah, a blue one. And a color of my, you know, I'll stick to this for that. I, I think that's just better. And then I have to, I removed one of these and I took two. Now I get to spawn a new one um, based on this down here. I'm going to spawn the, what color do I need at this point? To move it that way, I need, uh, crap. Maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll do red. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then a new Mars comes out. Okay. And it's my turn? Yep. Okay. So. Is this one meeple or is it everything from a planet? That is one meeple. Okay. It's one move or a yellow meeple. Okay. I'll do this one. Okay. So no, it's... Move a meeple. Okay. And that's it. Makes sense. And a new one comes out. A new one comes out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am going to do this one, mm -hmm. which is move a yellow and a blue mm -hmm. from here to here. I get a free red one on Earth, and I have a row of unique mm -hmm. colored cards, so I can now launch a ship. I can either launch this one or this one. I'm going to go ahead and launch the one without any, any people on it, which is fine. This is now going to be saved for end game scoring. And now I'm going to draw one from here and into my hand and then pick one to put down to replace it. Um, oh, I see. So I thought it was just you have to replace it immediately with yours. I'll just take I that. See. Okay. And yep. Okay. It is now yours. Did you replace it? Oh, I'm sorry. yeah, I have to replace that. I will do... <clears throat> I guess I'll do that one. 
five victory points. Okay. So it has no, no no real bonus other than a high point value. I'm going to do this one here. And I will move twice. Yep, yeah, because you've got two whites there. So you're going to move twice? Or do I? Yeah. Okay. I am going to play this one. And that is a Mars one. So I'm going to move yellow down and blue over. Split them up. And that gives me a free move action. So I'm going to go ahead and move a red down here. And this is now complete, this card. Mm -hmm. So now this launches. So these go back to the supply. I score this card. I get a new one from here, and then I replace it with something. So let's go with, um, I guess, that one there. And a new one comes out, and that comes out like that. And that's it. Okay. I'm going to grab this card. Okay. And move two. Yep, two. Yeah, move two and discard one of these. Okay. Um, now, is it, can I spread them out? Yes, you can spread or, them out like I did. Mm -hmm. So one and two. Yep. And I'll discard this one. Okay, yeah, whatever one you want. I don't know where these go. I'll just put them over here. That's fine. And that, let's, what is this? That is a free basic action. Oh, okay. I'll, I will, um, I'll spawn a yellow meeple. Okay. Right. Uh, oh, or wait, no. Is it is it only the spawn action? It's it's any of these. Any spawn, of these? move, refresh, like with a new color, uh, reputation, track, or a new ship card. So any any of those. Oh, I see. Okay. Any of these. I see. I see like I if see. you had discarded one of those. Oh, I see. Okay. In that case, um. Oh my gosh, hold on. Oh, I forgot to put a card here, I think. I'll put that there. Okay, I will just spawn a yellow here. Okay. And um, this launches? Uh, yeah, if you've got all of the different colors, you do. Mm -hmm. So that launches. Okay. You get a new ship card from the array. Or draw, draw one and then pick one to replace it. Oh, um, just point, and I'll, I'll pick it up for you. Yeah, my arms are longer. What is that middle one? What does that mean? One times a yellow meeple? Or? For every yellow icon you have on top of these cards, oh, is really? one point. Yeah. Mm, I'll just get the flat victory points. This one, the four. Yeah. Okay, so then you pick one from your hand to add to your board to replace it. Juice. Mm, <laughs> okay. Whatever, that's always a good sign. <laughs> and it is your turn, I think. All right. Um, helpful. Helpful. Um, let's do... Hmm. How do you keep track of how many rockets you've launched? I have two. And you have... Where's the one that you just launched? Oh, right here. Sorry. Yeah. Just put it off to the side. There you go. Okay. Um... Oh, and a new one comes out up here. Okay. Um, I need to, like, do more stuff, and I don't have the ability. So I guess what I'll do is I'll take um, this purple one. And I can do it twice because I've got one purple already. So I can either take two purple, two yellow, or just one of each. And I think I'll do... Um, yeah, I'll take one of each. Okay. Um, I'll do this one. Okay. So that's a second white. So you get to take two purple, move twice, or do one of each. I'll move twice. Okay. So one and two. Okay. Makes sense. And that's it. Um, I am going to play... That's Mars. Alright, 
I will do this. I'm going to take this blue one, or the blue uh, earth card, uh, any color in purple. So any color in purple. So purple moves, and then I get to choose something else. I'll go ahead and choose yellow. And that's it. And I also get a free reputation thing, mm -hmm. my first reputation, this entire game. Mm -hmm. Sad. My turn? Uh, yeah, it oh. is your turn. All right. Um, I think... Mm. I think I'll discard all three. Okay. To get three actions? Yeah. And I'll just m reputation up all the way up. Okay. And then use the gear to move one. Okay. And then complete this. Yep, that launches. And then these get put away. Yep. You get to take a new card from here and then add one from your hand to Which replace it. Two, um. Take the first one, I guess. This one? Yeah. All right, go on for that. Mm. All right. I am going to... That one's very tempting. All right, so I'm going to take this one, and that lets me move... Can I do that, though? Red, yellow... I can't because one would get lost because I would need two of the same color here. So what I will do instead is I'm going to take this purple one. Mm -hmm. That gives me this three times because these are also purple. I'm just going to take three reputation. So one, two, three. And as my, I pass this cog wheel, so I have another action coming to me. So I can do another basic action. I'm going to move up once to get another basic action. Mm -hmm. And so basically I've got one basic action that I can do. Um, and I will take a blue one there. And, or do I move, uh, geez, I guess that's fine. Okay. I will, mm. All right, and that gives you either Actually, a Actually, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh -huh. I'm so sorry. I'll do this one. And what do you want, yellow or purple? I want a, uh, oh gosh. Give me a purple. Purple. <laughs> All right, I am going to take this one mm -hmm. and put that there. Now I have to move two purple and get rid of one of these. So I'm gonna move two purple from Mars over here and remove doesn't matter this one now this one launches because this says minus one meeple in the mm. upper it's has oh. less points on it but it's cheaper to launch it oh wow so i have two of the three that i need to launch it so this is now launched wow. these come off this goes into my score pile um i pick up a new one which i'll just do that would be four that's four and that's one two three Oh, uh, jeez. Okay. Um, let's go with uh, this one, and then I'll put down... <sighs> yeah, I guess I'll do that one. That's fine. And then new one, and then new one. Okay. All right. It is uh, your turn. All right. I will do... This one. Do a yellow... And a yellow. A yellow and a yellow? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you get to do that twice. And then a new tile comes out. Should I have done a yellow and blue? Well, if you want to take... You want a yellow and a blue? No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Um, let's go with... Um, I'm going to take this one mm -hmm. to move a red and a blue over here, and I get a free purple on Earth. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> Man. It's mm. tough. I'll 
I'll just do this one and do all gears. Wow, okay. <laughs> Now, you landed on, uh, oh, no, there, no, there's no cog there. Really. Wow, okay, you're really pushing that reputation track. That's good. Um, Even if I landed here, there's no meeples, right? So that wouldn't count, or does it still launch? It still launches, oh, regardless of what you have there. Interesting, yeah. okay. All right, let's go with, um, all right, I'm going to do... Hmm. That's the only one that would really help me. All right, yeah, I'll take this one, and I get to move one of any color. So I'll put purple here, and then I, on the very bottom of that is take another ship card. Mm -hmm. So I will take um, two, three, four. Yeah, I guess I'll take that one. All right. Um, I'll just discard all these three. And take three actions? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Um, move up once and launch. Okay, um, yeah, you get a free one. launch. Yep. And then I draw one? Yeah, you draw one. Uh-huh. Which one would you like? <sighs> the far left. <laughs> I'll just put that there. And then um, two and then more I actions? Two more actions, that's right. Um, I'll do... I'll do this one. Okay. And move that to there. Okay. Blue and purple. Okay. So what I will do is take this one mm -hmm. and I move a purple, blue, and red. So red, purple, blue. And I get a reputation thing for that. This launches because this is done. And that was my fourth ship. Ah, so the game ends? Well, did you go first or did I go first? We get an equal number. You went three. first. You went first. Did I? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because last game I went first and then I... All right, first so then you get first. one more turn. Okay, I get one more turn. Mm -hmm. You get oh. bonus points for any meeples that are on ships at the end of the game, even oh, if really? they haven't been launched. So okay. if you can't launch anything, you may want to just try <laughs> to get as many meeples over there as possible. Or... Mm -hmm. Do something to help you get victory points for other things. Okay, so if I just do, um, if I if I just grab this one. Okay. Sure. Well, you have no red, right? Do I have to have the exact number? Yeah, you have to have oh, the reds okay. available to move them. All right, then I'll just take this one and move one. <laughs> okay. All right, so that ends the game, and now we count up victory points based on our victory point cards, our b bonuses listed here mainly. Mm -hmm. um, you also get, I believe, um, based on your reputation track, you've got, what, six there? Uh, Which yes. is good. Uh, and then what about your other victory points? What, do you all, what These, else do you have? Yeah. I have four. This is two for every blue card. Okay, so that's four. That's another four. So that's eight plus yeah. six is uh, 14. 14, and then plus six, because I counted this one too. Okay, so... Oh, wait, no, this doesn't apply because I don't have all the cards, so that doesn't even apply, right? right. Yeah, you need one of each yeah. card. Yeah, okay, so four, eight, 14. 14? Mm -hmm. uh, then 15? 15, yeah, sure. pretty sure it's... Yeah, one victory point per settler <laughs> on uncompleted ships. Pathetic. Uh, that's not pathetic. This is our first time. Um, I had wow. two points only, but on here I had uh, I had three, so two and then three, mm -hmm. and then two for every purple. I had three purple, so that's six. So six plus two is eight. So that's nine. Uh, nine plus two for every red card. That's four. So nine plus four is thirteen, and then another four points is seventeen, mm -hmm. and another five points is twenty-two. Wow. So 22 to 16, something like that, Crazy. roughly. Mm -hmm. So what did you think of this? Did you enjoy it? Was it yeah, too heavy, I, too light? I played um, inefficiently, I know that. I just wanted to see how far I could get if I just kept discarding. <laughs> and I didn't really want to do that, but I was kind of curious to see. The only downside is that <laughs> you, can't you can't match colors. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're lucky enough to have things chain, yeah. then 
by discarding all of these and you take one, you're not going to get any color yeah. bonus. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's the only downside to doing that. I think I rushed this probably too too quickly. No, but you got a lot of points out of that. Oh, please. <laughs> you did. You did pretty good. I, I thought. Um, no, it was okay. I mean. It was quick. I liked it. It was. It, it was. It, I feel like this is a nice little filler game. It reminds me of Splendor a little bit in the sense that you've got all these different card rows and, uh, you know, I, I do like the fact it's it's not as much engine building. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't have as much engine building. It's more of like a, you know, which cards can you take that complement both your scored ships mm -hmm. and give you the actions that you need mm -hmm. to help you complete your other ships, yeah. if that makes any sense. So I feel like it's all about proper... Like, taking the best tiles and ships mm -hmm. for what you're trying to do in the least amount of moves. That's, mm -hmm. that's, what I'm, that's what I'm getting the vibe of here. But I like this one. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's so, okay. It was, like, middle. Middle of the road for yeah. you. Here's a quick look at the box insert, folks, in case I didn't mention that. All right, well, there you go, folks. That was Ganymede. If you guys haven't already, mm -hmm. subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vincent Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.